Hello, dear students. I hope that you are okay and you are enjoying learning English together with your teacher, classmates, and of course with me. Today's lesson we are going to discuss about passive voice. This is another grammar topic that is complex but is easy to apply if we know uh, the tenses and other uh, grammar topics. I hope you are ready, you have everything that you need and if you need to take notes don't forget to pause this video and take notes. So when we speak about passive voice we also speak about active voice. But what is the difference between active voice and passive voice? How will I understand uh, this? Of course you will, because I'm going to help you. So active voice makes your writing stronger, more direct and more active, of course. Passive voice is when the subject is acted upon by some other performer of the verb. So, if uh, to make it simpler for you, active voice means that the subject of the sentence does the action, but the passive voice is vice versa. The object of active voice suffers uh, the action. And we'll start, of course, analyzing from the point of view of each tense. And we start with present simple. So if you want to change a present simple sentence into passive one or into passive voice, you have to remember that present simple is changed using the forms of the verb to be in present tense plus the past participle of the verb that we need to change. Example, many people use bicycles as means of transport. This is active voice. And the passive voice is bicycles are used as a means of transport. Present continuous. To change present continuous from active voice into passive voice, you need to remember that you have to use the verb to be in the present tense plus being plus the past participle of the verb that you have to use. Example. They are still preparing the food. The food is still being prepared by them. So the food suffers uh, the cooking or the preparing activity. Present perfect. To change present perfect into passive voice, you have to remember that you need the present uh, simple forms of the verb to have plus been plus past participle. Example, the helpers have not packed the boxes yet. The boxes have not been packed yet. So the boxes were not packed, so they suffered the action. Past simple. To transform past simple into passive voice, you have to use verb to be in the past tense, so its forms was and were plus the past participle of the verb. So when I say past participle, I mean the third form of uh, the irregular verb or the regular ones. Example, the local council opened a new shopping center. The new shopping center was opened. So the shopping center suffered the action of being opened. Past continuous. To transform past continuous into a passive uh, voice sentence, you need to use the past simple forms of the verbs to be, was, where, plus being, plus the past participle of the verb that you need to use. Example. The crowd was slowly filling the new stadium. 
the new stadium was slowly being filled by the crowd. Past perfect. If you want to change past perfect, you have to use the past simple form of the verb have, which is had, plus been, plus the past uh, participle. Example. Lots of people had parked their cars on the pavement. The cars had been parked on the pavement. So, in this case, the cars suffered the action. They were parked. Future simple. To change a future simple sentence into a passive one, we have to use the, firm, uh, the form of the verb will plus be and plus past participle. Example. They will launch the new ship next week. The new ship will be launched next week. Modal verbs. When you want to change a modal verb, you have to pay attention to the following thing. that You have to use a modal it doesn't matter. It can be can, may, shall, would, could, and so on, plus be, plus the past participle. For example, you ought to clean the desk. The desk, the desk ought to be cleaned by you. Now, my dear friends, if everything was clear, let us practice. Change the sentences uh, to passive voice. 1. They introduced me to her husband. Number 2. Someone sold this old hat to my wife. Number 3. They are pushing the car. So, I highlighted for you the forms of the verb, the verb tenses. And you have to identify it and to change into uh, the passive voice. So, in the first sentence contains past simple, yes? Uh, the second sentence also contains past simple and the third sentence contains past continuous form of the verb to push. Now, it is time for you to identify who or what suffers the action. If you found and you are ready to check your answers together with me, we shall do it. So, I was introduced to her husband. So, I suffered the action of being introduced to her husband. Number two, this old hat was sold to my wife. Which object was sold to my wife? Of course, the hat. So, in this case, the hat suffers the action. And the car is being pushed by them. So, what are they doing with the car? So, they are pushing it. So, the car suffers, in a way, the action of being pushed. The next, let us continue practicing. 4. Someone broke into my office. 5. They were talking about you. 6. The headmaster will contact you. Also, my dear students, pay attention to the highlighted form of the verbs and identify what uh, is the tense and identify the person or the object that uh, suffers the action. So, if you are ready and you want to check your ideas or your answers, let us do it. So, my office was broken into. You were being talked about because they were talking about you. And uh, you will be contacted by the headmaster. So, you suffer and you will suffer the action. The action is going to be directed toward you. 
And finishing this lesson, I want you to thank you once again for joining our class and thank you for being patient and understanding with everything that happens in English language. Don't forget that you have to learn English and have fun. Have a nice day, my dear students. Goodbye.